Introducing the horses, race number five, first half of the twin trifecta. These are claiming pacers racing one mile. The one Dart and Charlie owned by Clarence Tillong of Grove City, Beverly Clark trains for Randy Tharps. The two Ram Spirit owned by Lane Bray of Lebanon, Carl Bray trains for Mike Wilder. Three in Ohio Chance, owned and trained by Paul Garns with Jeff Out. The four Brock Buster, owned, trained and driven by Jane Goverick of Lexington. The five Champagne Cowboy, Lou Ann Yoder, the owner, Sherry Myers trains, Chip Noble drives. Number six, Mr. Destiny, owned by Rhonda Stidham of Ohio and Francis and Robert DeMay of Indianapolis, Rocky Stidham trains and drives. Number seven, Two Bit Die Job, owned by Charles Autry of Cincinnati, David Perry trains for Ryan Holton. The eight, Lloyd Zellix, owned by Jay Schaefer, Paul Schaefer, and Robert Carter of Ohio. Kenny Edwards, the trainer, Dave Miller in the bike. And the nine horse, Awesome One, owned by Charles Taylor of Pleasureville, Kentucky. Clint Binkley trains. Eric Ledford is in the sulky. One play show perfect, a twin trifecta wagering. Post time in nine minutes. Fifth race, Clemming Pacers on and behind the gates. They're on the back stretch and approaching the start. And uh, they're off, and the, the big speed comes from the far outside. There goes Two Bit Die Job as he rushes for the late Mr. Destiny alongside, going right with him. From the inside to third, it's an Ohio chance. From between horses, fourth, Champagne Cowboy. From off the pylons, five, Darton Charlie. At the villain, racing his sixth Ram Spirit. It's a gap of three lengths, seventh to Brock Buster. At the villain, eight, Lloyd Zalex. The uh, trailer ninth is awesome one. Everybody settles in here with their instrument alignment as they reach the first quarter mile marker. The opening panel 27 and 4. Two bit giant job of the lead. A lively pace here. And to the outside comes Mr. Destiny. And Mr. Destiny makes his bid for the lead. He clears and takes command. Dart and Charlie moving out quickly now. And Dart and Charlie to the outside as he goes for the front end. Two bit giant job of the inside is racing third. And underway is Ram Spirit, who's now fourth. Champagne Cowboy fifth at the rail. Inside and sixth, and Ohio Chance. Half and 57 seconds flat as they make the turn to the back stretch. And now the leader is Mr. Destiny at five to one. He leads by a neck. Dart and Charlie on the outside is right there applying heavy pressure. And Ram Spirit there with live cover is racing third. Two bit die job now beginning to tire on the inside after the. Uh, Quick opening half, and to the outside, racing fifth comes Champagne Cowboy. Into the final turn, Mr. Destiny putting away Darton Charlie as he fades. Three quarters, 126. Around the final turn, and Mr. Destiny with the lead by two. Ram Spirit down to the inside, saving ground, and getting a quick breather. And right behind him, third now is Champagne Cowboy with less than an eighth of a mile to go. And down the stretch they come. It's Mr. Destiny with the lead. Ram Spirit. Coming to the outside with one uh, late brush. It's Mr. Destiny. Ram Spirit, not enough here. Mr. Destiny wins by a neck. Ram Spirit second and Barton Charlie third. Well, introducing the official winner of the fifth race, number six, Mr. Destiny, a seven-year-old Michigan bred son of Shield Batch Rainbow from the Grand Slam, Narden's Grand Slam mare, fifth D. Owned by Rhonda Stidham of Circleville and Francis and Robert DeMay of Indianapolis, Indiana. Rocky Stidham is the trainer driver. Mr. Destiny recording his first win of the season, and that only a fifth of a second off his career best. Tonight's mile, 156. Tonight's fifth race trophy presentation by TJ's. One claim entered in that fifth race. The five-horse Champagne Cowboy was claimed for 